Hey everyone, Matt Thomas here. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to do a, a real quick video on a great finals day project um, that you can do. So this is a, a follow-up to my longer seven-minute video, but this information is just so valuable. I, I wanted to get a quick two-minute video out so people could just watch this quickly. Um, if you want to know all the science behind this and you want to see it completely, like a great example, complete, you know, done completely, please watch the seven-minute video, which I'll link to the end of this video. Okay, so a, uh, I'm going to skip all the science behind it. I'm just going to go right into it. So this is an amazing finals day activity that um, that teachers can do to give their their students like the la the last memory your students will have of you is is how amazing you are and how it's such a great powerful activity. Let me just tell it to you right now. So b before we get into our finals day, whatever we're doing, and I've done this for, for every year since I began, became a teacher, I did this project right here. And I will tell you, it takes about 45 minutes. And, you know, when we have finals, it's like a two-hour final. And so the last part of the finals day would be whatever test we we're giving or whatever it is, right? So what I would do is on finals day, I would tell each student at least three things that I'm going to miss about them. And I will make it very specific. So like they know that I'm not making it up, right? It's not a general thing. And, and I say at least three, I would not go more than four. Like I try to make each student like have the, the same amount. So it doesn't seem like I'm, I'm either playing favorites or, you know, I, I don't have enough for each student. Like every student, three to four at the most, right? No, no fewer than three. And what I'll do is I'll look them right in the eyes and I'll, and I'll be like, Joey, I'm going to miss that time. And I will, you know, say real events, right? Or, and I'll show you an example of this later on. But um, what happens is when a student sees you look at, at him or her in the eyes, telling that person like great things specifically about that person, it makes them feel incredible. And as a teacher, you feel great too. But honestly, the last day is, is about them, right? So this whole project and activity is really about the students and making them feel just so amazing. And walking out of class like, dude, that teacher really cared about me. And not just us as a class, that person as an individual, right? So, so I'd bring up specific events that happen, you know, throughout the year, whether it be funny or, or, or interesting or informative or like, wow, like remember that time you told me that, whatever, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm very specific about qualities that I'm going to miss about them. Again, I try not to be very general. I want them to know that I'm speaking to that individual student. Uh, it's a very personal moment between, you know, you and your classes, right? Um, and, um, and I will, I'm not going to lie to you. This takes time. It'll take about 45 minutes or so, uh, at least, because you're probably going to spend a minute per student um, students will remember this like seriously it, it's such a powerful moment they're gonna be students crying you're gonna probably be crying because as you're talking to a student you'll see like the tears like good tears in his or her eyes and you'll probably get teary-eyed too um, now now if you've seen my previous video of this you you hopefully will have have been doing this throughout the year because as I, as I mentioned in my previous video I, that I sent to the beginning of the year this is something I start at the beginning of the year that gives you a whole nine months to like jot things down so if if one of your students says something funny or interesting or like wow in class at the end of the class you just write it down like the date the name and then what that person said or just qualities in general throughout the year let's say someone always is wearing like a baseball shirt and you're like i love how every time you come in you're representing baseball which is a sport that i really care about i just i just think that's so cool like you obviously love playing baseball and so you're really specific about the, the what they do so here's an example of it so uh, i changed the name obviously um so what i would do is this like okay we're in class and i, I this is how i set it up i would say guys it's our last time together like literally as a whole we'll never you know be here with, you know, together ever. This is our last day together. And I'm going to miss you guys so much. And, and I know people are going to say like, I'm going to miss you. And yeah, but I, I really am going to miss you. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to miss about you. And then I'll turn to the first student. I have my list of all the notes and I turn. And then the students right away, they're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And I'm like, Joey, I'm going to miss that you're always such a hard worker. Like seriously, every time you turn an assignment in, like I knew I was going to get great stuff. I'm going to miss your great insight in your writing. Do you remember that time you wrote that satire about how school is like a really long internship? As I read it, I'm like, dude, you are so right. And I'm going to miss like your authoritative way of writing. You have this leadership quality in your writing that's going to take you so far. I'm going to miss that so much about you. And I'm going to miss, remember that time where we were having the side conversation about geography and you just started like listing every single state and every single capital. And I was like, dude, how do you remember all that? That's so impressive. I'm going to miss you so much, Joey. And then I go to the next student. 
And now I'm not going to lie to you. I'll tell you, this takes a long time to set up because like throughout the year, you will have been like listing little things here and there. And then, you know, with the last two weeks before finals day, you're going to have to like, okay, I've got to make sure I, I, I add these little bits and pieces here and there. And it does take a lot of work because you'll have what, six, seven classes. Um, so just keep in mind, but hopefully you will have done this throughout the year, taking little notes. So by the end of the year, that finals day, it's an amazingly powerful message for the students. Individually, each student will get uh, 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 something said about him or her. He or she's going to be so special. Now, let's be real. There may be some students that, that, that you know, ha were, were a challenge to teach throughout the year, right? This day is not a day to bring that up. This is nothing but positive. You never want to say like, hey, Joey, even though you always talked when you weren't supposed to, I'm going to, you don't want to say that. No, this is nothing negative. This is all positive. So you want to find those great qualities in each student. And at times, if we're real about it, if there was a student that was really a challenging student and, and maybe the student found you as a, ch a challenging teacher, now's the day to squash all that. Now's the day to be like, dude, you know what, Joey? I'm going to miss every time that blah, blah, blah. And you, and you would say great qualities because then that student will walk out going, dude, you know what? That teacher was actually really cool. And, 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 um, and it's, just, it's, it's an amazingly powerful exercise or activity to do. Um, so yeah, if you want to watch like the longer version of this to see the science behind it, why it's so impactful, feel free to watch the, the linked video there. Um, but, uh, but hopefully you, you know, it, it, if think of, imagine if every teacher did this. Imagine uh, on the last day, every teacher did it with every student. The students would walk out of the campus just being like, wow, what an amazing, uh, what amazing teachers. So thanks for watching, guys.